What's happening YouTube? It's your boy Kyle Francis from Francis Photos UK Limited. I am creating a video just talking about wedding photography and the massive, massive question uh, which is in everyone's thoughts when hiring a wedding photographer and that is why are wedding photographers so thief or why are they so expensive or they are robbing me in broad daylight. Um, and I really want to put it to bed you know depending on the photographer and the, honestly depending on the wedding they are doing and specific weddings they specialize in um, there are some weddings which are may only be a day two days three days some may have four days depending on the culture you're doing um, depending if they're having another form of party afterwards not on the day but the next day so all of those come into play it comes into the form of traveling which is number two um, traveling from A to B possibly C and D um, depending on you know how the event is done three is the communication it's the form of staying there with the clientele documenting absolutely everything they're doing capturing those candid shots capturing those shots of where they're all natural but also you be there orchestrating and kind of guiding your guy your clients because really there are some people who are natural and, and and really can pose in front of the camera fine but you're gonna deal with some people who are not naturally confident to be in front of the camera and you have to kind of guide them into a certain pose or say certain phrases or tell them to say something to the bride or groom of where then they slowly to be you know become more calm and less tense in their posture so right you know the kind of image they're looking for and also the the kind of pose i'm looking for uh, can be accomplished at that time um and then the next one will be with wedding photography is wedding photography is a title but there's so many subtitles under that it's like wedding photography is an umbrella and underneath that umbrella is a ridiculous amount of genres of photography um, in everything you do and my computer is telling me it's eight o'clock everything we do is portraits landscapes architectural photography macro photography close-up with the macro depending on what kind of concept you're going for then you have a bit of form of fashion then you have family with the portraits but family portraits then you go into forms of product photography um, obviously throughout all of it you have documentary or photojournalism a style of photography you have and then the form of key skills flash photography depending on the venue depending on how the lighting is depending on how the reception is if they're going to somewhere where it's a low key settings and also if there's a part in the wedding of where there's a lot of movement like you need that form of lighting to freeze that movement um, or that kind of concept they want you to capture so that comes into play and then with that low key photography uh, high key or highlighting um, photography um, understanding the form of the settings with that camera to uh, like again accomplish the you know the image you want to produce um, there's a lot of technicalities which come with wedding photography which people may not understand um, and then ultimately once the day is all done or days are done it's going back to our offices to go through the selection of images now these are not probably a hundred images we're talking thousands upon thousands of images which can literally take a couple of days to not only just decipher which one's good which one's bad but it's getting the best and especially with me because i use adobe lightroom i use photoshop as well you know but i like adobe lightroom but with that they have a cool feature where you can almost grade them based on a star marking from one to five and i kind of grade each image you know all of them come out good but if it, i want to grade it based on the one which meets the concept the best and 
that takes time, especially when you have thousands of images. Um, also, when it comes in the form of editing those images, then if it's after, if you uh, have advertised additional ways of to exhibit your work, it could be the form of uh, the albums, it could be form of printing, depending on the size of the print, the quality of the print, with the people who you are working with, the time of when that is delivered, so that then you deliver it to the clientele. So, and then also it's the form of insurance we have as wedding photographers, uh, making sure that, you know, the camera is covered, uh, making sure that any form of accidental uh, um, damage, which is done by either, either client or the guests, um, that is covered. Because really when doing wedding photography, we are moving around equipment, which is worth stupid money. So with anything precious, you want to make sure it's covered. So with all of those elements, and there's so many more, but these are the most obvious ones. But with this in mind, when, you know, calculating the time, the labor, the editing, you know, the digital, digital and the physical aspects of it, it makes sense why the, you know, the price is, is what it is. Um, now, with uh, myself and other photographers, we have a system of where we base our pricing depending on the time it's spent. Um, some people do that, some people don't. Some people have a flat rate, no matter the time it is. Um, not throwing no shade on them, that's it. They can do what they want to do. but. Hopefully today you understand that that is the reason why wedding photography is so expensive because it's a skill which not a lot of people have. I'll keep it quite frank, not a lot of people have, but it's an amazing way to help people remember their special day. And with me, who doesn't like a good wedding? So I love weddings, I love photography. Um, I love portraits, documentary, photo photojournalism, style photography, all different aspects of photography, I love it. So with that in mind, I, I felt that weddings was perfect for me and you know, thank, thank God that like, I've had loads of opportunities to produce amazing, brilliant work for the clientele. So um, yeah, I hope this um, video helps potential clientele those who will just have an interest in photography, those who just want to know what bits and pieces, the kind of anatomy of a wedding photographer and the pricing of that. Um, so yeah, I hope you are okay, everyone's well, and see you in the next one. Peace!